Now, two men to the left as they put the ball at the 11-yard line, and it'll be first down for the Cougars at the 11. Two men out to the left side wide, Victor Wood and Cotton Sears. Here is Blunt. He gives off Broussard, fumbled the ball, but grabbed it back. Steve Broussard, as he went into the left side, fumbled the ball, but grabbed it back. The official, as there was a defensive lineman right in the right in the gap through which he wanted to run that time, he ran right up on him, and the stop was made right there. The tackle made by Marion Knight, a 6'2", 260-pound senior, after a two-yard Cougar gain by... Cougars out with Bircher wide to the right side. Three receivers to the right. As Sears and Chase are inside the wide man. Now Chase goes motion left. Pitch left, face to corner. Back goes Blunt, throws down the left side. That ball is incomplete. Marker. All right, two split men to the left now, and in uh, motion goes Rick Chase through to the right side. Back to pass goes Blunt for the first time. Sets up. Now he's going to run it up the middle. 45 and dives near the 48-yard line. Well, let's see how the Cougars align it now. They will bring in Kim Stallworth as an extra wide receiver. The tight end Chris Leighton will go short side to the right. And the Cougars are tripped left. Three men to the left and only Porter in the running backfield. Fake to Porter. Rolling left blunt. Slipped away from an on-rushing tackler. But then is overrun as he got to the 50-yard line. Tried to fight his way back downfield. He's got a wrestling match going. And time runs out on the scoreboard. Back behind him in that backfield. Very long count now as he gets ready. He gives away to Gary Porter, hurtling and bucking and diving into the line. And carries the ball out to about the 23 yard line. This flip back behind Rosenbaum back at the 25 yard line. And the handoff given once again into the right side to Porter. Broke through a tackle, got up over the 35 to about the 38 yard line. Porter the running back, hits to Porter, running to the left side. Pretty good play for the first call. And Porter traps, tries to come back, puts his head down and sports almost to the 25-yard line. The officials try to untangle the stack, and they say Cougars ball. Boom, boom, goes the beast to rock the nation. 
hard to take Steve 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 Steve
knocks him back for a loss on the play. Poor read that time by Zimmerling. He should have cut up inside. Di Bernardo, 53, the linebacker, had the outside position. No place for him to go. I'm sorry, Padonic. He should have cut up inside. There was a hole there. And it sets the Falcons back close to midfield. A loss on the play. Second down and 15 at the 49. Di Bernardo has played an outstanding game defensively for the ring. stay in the race the Falcons need a win to stay in the race and now we're in a situation where it's 20 to 14 third and 15 even though a lot of time left very crucial play keep the drive alive get them down score kick the extra point they have the lead this is a very competitive game fans enjoying it and the last minutes of replacement football Kramer's pass is caught Gonzalez and Gonzalez is short of a first down. <laughs> Do all those things get them to jump off sides? All they did really was buy some time back the kicker up who just keeps it up here about 10 yards. defending and did a real good job on Barney. McIntosh and Granger in the back. So let's see whether he was drawn off or whether that's encroachment against L.A. Well, this is something that Kramer's shown us today. The ability. Encroachment, number 79. And it's Marion Knight. Guilty of encroachment.
Someone